Talk about that up front. We've had a big boost, not only with Tatafu Blood now's arrival over the Christmas period, but obviously Dan Cole back now from Six Nations duty, Ellis Genge back from injury. Yeah. How important is the addition of those three internationals? Oh, look, you can't underestimate that sort of quality. And, you know, I mean, Ellis is, is, is a special character and I've got a lot of time for him and he, he's going to make a very, very good rugby player um, at every level um, for a long, long period of time. Uh, Dan Coley, I mean, just the name synonymous with um, with Leicester Tigers and, uh, you know, an unbelievably good tight head. So I'm absolutely rapt to have him back. And, and Taff, is what, it was interesting because I've, I've almost connected up with Taff in the, in the past, but it just hasn't happened. And now to have him here and be working with him here is, is fantastic because he's such a good influence on the group. Uh, he's a very strong scrummager. He's worked really hard on his throwing um, and he's, he's definitely throwing better, uh, particularly since I've been here. Not that I've actually been working with him, Simon's been working with him, but um, he's uh, no, he's he's doing really well. And the, and the boys build around those sort of characters. Um, obviously, Coley and Tar for one reason, and then and Genji for another reason. You just see his energy last week when he came on against Was, and you know, in particular at about 60 minutes, he turned that ball over um, on the far touchline from us, and, th and that that was one of the turning points of the game. So you can't buy that sort of. Uh, I don't know, that raw regression, that dynamic, and I love that sort of stuff because it, um, you know, you can build a lot from that, you really can. Um, and then the other two guys are just, uh, you know, they're great to have around the group. Finally, uh, this weekend, one of your former sides, Bath, uh, not too many blokes hanging around from your period there. Yeah. Not that it was overly long ago. Uh, what, what do we have to expect this weekend at Twickenham? Oh, look, as, as I said, like, any game against any team in the Premiership is going to be tough. There is no easy games. Bath are going to bring their absolute A game. And uh, if we don't bring our ga A game, we'll get beaten. And it's that simple. If you think if you think you can play at 95%, you can't. You have to play at 100%. And Bath, you know, they're playing for a lot of pride. They're playing for top six. They're playing for you know, a distant uh, opportunity to get into the top four. But... You know that they're they're in a in a bit of a hole, and they'll be wanting to. There's no better game than to, to get Leicester at Twickenham to dig themselves out of it. So we've got enormous respect for what they're going to bring, and we know it's going to be hellishly tough. And we know it, you know it could come down to the last you know the last play of the game, which a lot of Premiership games do. And it's going to be the team that's more accurate, and more intense that wins the game. Hopefully, it's a nice win for some Australians after some recent losses there. Thanks, Let's mate. Let's hope so. Cheers. Cheers. Mate. <laughs> Easy. For more highlights and interviews, stay tuned to LT TV.